So I want, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to speak about the, this month's special offering, which is Paul has already said was for our one great hour of sharing. Um, in, in this, in the year of our, during our special offerings, we have two offerings which fund needy needs outside of Chicago. And uh, this is one of them. The other is Neighbors in Need. This particular offering we do through the Presbyterian Church. Um, and the Neighbors in Need we do through the UCC denomination. Our gifts to the One Great Hour Sharing go to ministry, three different ministries uh, that they use the money for. One is a hunger program. The other is a self-development of people. And the other is the disaster assistance. So I want to talk about examples of each of these. Um, <clears throat> funds from the hunger program helped a Malayan woman named Tinananji Kalamba find a path to food security through a unique woman-owned bakery. She was a leader in the Kasupi Ministries, a registered non-governmental program in Malawi. When tropical cyclone Freddie hit this region in March of 2023, it devastated the lives and livelihoods of many in this Southeast African country. And thanks to Columbus' faithful leadership in this women's bakery, it survived the cyclone. The second thing is from how the self-development of people helped. Uh, a person named Sean Duncan, a native of Michigan, he had struggled for years with homelessness and health issues. Sean's life was changed by his participation in a nonprofit program called Caridad Gardens. It offers job skills training, mental, emotional, and physical wellness programs. He said this program offered people a relationship in sharing common things and the ability to support each other. The disaster assistant, assistance helped um, people in Syria and so there was a hurricane, which I, I definitely remember, and I, I bet you do too. February of 2023, a huge earthquake struck Turkey and part of Syria. So this is about uh, the, that part of Syria that was devastated by this. The Middle East Council of Churches worked around the clock to alleviate the suffering of the Syrian people and in particular, a woman named Bernadetta and her family. This agency, in cooperation with par partners, aided families like Bernadetta's by stabilizing their building and rehabilitating apartments so these families would not have to leave Aleppo. Finally, I want to give a quote from the Reverend David Alonzo Johnson who is coordinator of the Self-Development of People Fund. Giving to this offering creates an opportunity to be in intentional about embodying justice and hope by involving people in need to the changing of lives and communities in deeply profound and healing ways. Now, there is no special envelope this week in your bulletin for giving to this, so you'll have to mark special offering on this white envelope that you find in there, your pew. So I hope you feel generous in supporting this. <clears throat> 